All right, so what we have here is a battery from China, all the way from China. Um, it's a, from a company called Napok, N-A-P-O-K. Um, I did spend my own money for it. It was $1,100. They did give me uh, free shipping in return for a YouTube video review. This is gonna be part one. So right now we're just gonna do the unboxing. It's a 200 amp hour. I believe it's a 4D or 8D size battery. Um, it was it's 200 amp hours, and it was $1,100. So basically, for the same, almost a little bit more than what a battle bone will cost you, it is twice the capacity as far as what they uh, are rating rating the, the capacity of this battery. So um, what's kind of nice about it is that it has a a, um, a meter here which shows the capacity as far as um, how full it is from 0 to 100 and also does temperature sensing as well it is gray okay so looking at it uh, it looks like <laughs> it hasn't been totally or well, at least like part of it's been <laughs> part of the protective packaging has been rubbed off <laughs> but they say it's new and we're going to take it there. We're going to do some tests on it. We're going to confirm whether or not it actually does have a 200 amp hour capacity. And we're also going to do some temperature sensing on it as well. So again, my money, $1,100. <laughs> Here's hoping for the best, all right? I just felt like there were other options out there if we want to take a look. I know there's the, obviously the Battleborns out there, but I wanted to see if there was something else out there that could offer um, uh, superior experience as far as capacity goes. So let's go ahead and take this out of the box. It did take about about a month to get here from China. So um, that part was not good, but we'll see if it was actually worth the wait. It's actually pretty lightweight. It was about uh, just under 50 pounds, so we'll see if all the 200 amp hours are actually there for that. But um, looking on the outside, this is just a, pretty much a gray plastic, probably ABS plastic box housing. It's got the uh, negative and the positive and negative terminals there. Um, yeah probably been sitting for a little while that's probably why part of the packaging has been I guess rubbed away but we'll clean that off and you know, hopefully everything will be okay so I'll get back to y'all with the capacity test all right peace so right now it's saying 100% charged at 14.4 volts using the progressive Dynamics uh, lithium charger 60 amps uh, When it was first started up it was using just under a, th a kilowatt now it's down to uh, it's a maintenance wattage of 12.5 uh, It says That it used 2.23 kilowatts up to this point So when I first uh, turned it on the meter did say 83%, I believe it was 13.2 volts, but uh, when I first plugged it in, it jumped up from 83 all the way up to, I believe it was 96 on, right off the bat, like within a few seconds. So I know that you know, can't be accurate. Um, maybe it will be accurate as I use the, uh, as I use the battery, but that was kind of a uh, Interesting how we could jump from 83 to 96% in a few seconds. I'm sure that was not an accurate reading. Uh, and then also the fact that we use about two kilowatts, just over two kilowatts to actually charge it up before the uh, lithium charger uh, went into a, I guess a float mode. So this thing is supposed to hold about, uh, I guess 2.4 kilowatt hours. So. How would I actually use about two uh, 
two and a quarter is also pretty interesting. So, but we'll we'll see how it discharges and how many how many kilowatt hours I'm actually able to get uh, out of this battery. So, check back with you momentarily. All right, so it's about two hours or so later. Uh, the voltage is reading fourteen point two volts and. There are no draws on it right now. Everything is uh, hooked up in the temporary setup. 2000 watt Xantrax inverter. But nothing is uh, hooked up right now. They're saying 14.2. Um, so, about to do the ultimate test in the man cave. We're gonna play some PlayStation on that TV, 50 inch TV, Samsung TV. So, we'll see how long uh, this battery. Uh, 200 amp hour battery will last. All right. All right. So playing a little Shadow of the Colossus here. Um, I actually haven't been playing for not even five minutes yet, and it says 87 percent. So I think this battery capacity voltage meter thing, it, it really isn't accurate. Hopefully. <laughs> Uh, it is saying 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, so, yeah, 86 degrees. We are pulling uh, 186 watts right now. Um, that will probably uh, go up to as much as probably 250. I, I do have a sound bar in the subwoofer as well that's powering, uh, is being powered by the battery. So, the TV, PlayStation 4 Pro and the sound bar and that's all I got going right now and it's literally literally been uh, less than five minutes so um, but we'll see I'll count uh, it's going to be counting the kilowatt hours as well and you can also see that right here it just turns it on it's only 0 0.01 kilowatt hours right now so hopefully that voltage meter is wrong I'll check back all right, so now I'm playing Resident Evil 2. Clear! Clear, are you okay? Even though this gauge is probably not accurate, it's saying it's been holding 83% for uh, some time now. And we have uh, 0.56 kilowatt hours used so far on the battery, so a uh, little ways to go. I'll check back with you in a second. This is out of control. So we are at five hours and ten minutes in. Again, I don't think this thing is too accurate, but it gives you, I guess, a ballpark idea. It says 76%, 13 volts, 22 degrees. Per the kilowatt, you're at 1.1 kilowatt hours. So almost halfway there it's playing it just fine no no issue so far uh so i'll check back again as uh, we use more power all right so we are i'm just going to reference this just because this is what we have about 75 percent 13 volts Still playing uh, Shadow of the Colossus here. Um, we have used almost uh, one and a half kilowatts, almost there. Uh, almost seven hours uh, of game time as uh, recorded by my stopwatch on my iPhone. So, so far so good. I'll uh, do another video when I get to actually two kilowatts and you know, hopefully 2.4. We'll see where it stops at. I'll let you know. All right. All right. About to take on the twelfth Colossus. I'm starting to think this battery is a Colossus itself. Um, just for reference, it's at 69 percent, 12.8 volts, 22 degrees, and we are just a hair under two kilowatt hours. If I get 2.4. I'll be happy. If I get more than that, I'll be even more happy. But uh, right now, this Colossus needs my attention, so I check.
All right, we are at two and a quarter kilowatts. From pressed. Uh, just for reference, 59, 12, 6 volts. But that changes when it's like under load. And if there's no load, let it go back up. So I'm not I'm still not 100% on this thing. But uh, that's just for reference. Um, I'm only expecting 2.4 kilowatts. So I'll check back if and when it gets to that or, or even over that. So. So it's official. Uh, so far, I've been playing for or over a couple days. Uh, in total, it's been 11 hours and 20 minutes. Uh, we have officially hit 2.4 kilowatt hours. That's 200 amp hours. And technically, because of the inefficiency of all batteries, it's you know converting from 12 volt to uh, 120 volt uh, before it actually gets the inverter. There's some power loss there. So technically, it has been over a little, just over. 2.4 kilowatt hours and again accurate but just for reference it's saying 37% and 12.8 volts and I don't think that's accurate but uh, so far everything's still playing okay there's no flickering no issues uh, nothing going on nothing nothing bad happening so uh, it's, I'm going to see how far how much power we can actually get before it actually cuts off completely but uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely 200 amp hours so far, and I am impressed. All right, after uh, 11 hours, uh, 40 minutes, uh, everything cuts off now. It's 0%, 11 volts, and that is 2.46 kilowatt hours as measured by the kilowatt meter. That's when I started getting an error, and everything started to try and uh, shut off or whatever so uh yeah that's definitely 200 amp hours right there uh, as as promised by napak so yeah um so on a scale of one to ten for eleven hundred dollars it's, it's definitely uh it's definitely a go um you know definitely i you can't be upset with that and i will be doing more testing but i just wanted to uh share this with y'all uh, for right now all right all right so just wanted to show that it's uh fully charged back up 22 degrees um kilowatt is showing that it took uh well earlier it was 3.49 but even when the uh progressive uh, charger is done. It's still gonna do like a maintenance charger, like 20 watts. More or less, <laughs> more or less. But um, yeah. So it was uh 3.49 when it was done. I checked earlier. I just let I just uh left it plugged in. That, but that's more of a function of the charger itself. But uh, so 2.4 kilowatt hours took about. 3.49 kilowatt hours to actually charge back up so it took about an extra kilowatt to actually put the energy back in to the battery but um, I'm going to do another test so uh, stay tuned